Thanks for watching. I'll meet you in my next. What was that? I'm in love with a cold cold What's up guys, Sasha so here back with another video. Today I am going to be unboxing this. This is a Owl by Oizo. And this is something, a device that measures how the air quality is in the air. So there are two versions of this. This is the Wi-Fi version. There is also a 3G version which requires a SIM card. But this has the Wi-Fi adapter and uses the Wi-Fi. So the box is very simple, you have the air Wi-Fi or, or your first step towards fighting air pollution, the air logo made with heart by Ozone. So yes, the creators of this are Ozone, the company. I'd just like to thank Ozone for giving me one of these. These are not launched yet, so this is kind of the first review of it on YouTube. So, you have that, you have a cardboard box. When you open that, you have a, a booklet guide thing. A proud moment for you. Be extremely proud of yourself for purchasing this device. So this is all of that. Now here you have the user manual in which you have all the details on how to set it up and how to, you know, make it. So basically this is a DIY kit. So you get you just set the parts and then you have to make it yourself. Now this is the AR board. It looks very nice, so here you make it no thing. Okay, so inside you have a micro, no, not a micro USB cable. This cable, so that you plug in it. Now here you have all this. This is to plug in the micro USB cable. This is um something. <laughs> this seems like it's a battery. This is the plug using which you plug it in screws a chip and the back of the this so it lines up perfectly like that okay guys so now we are upstairs and we are going to set this thing up so I took off the cardboard from this, so now this is transparent, earlier it was made of cardboard, it took a lot of time to scratch it off, honestly it was kind of a hassle, but anyway let's just start making this. We're going to be using the user manual and since we are using the user manual, I like to call it the using manual. Ah, uh, yep. Okay, so first what we do is... We attach one connector to this and then the other right here. Perfect. Next, we take this 
we attach these holes and okay so i, I personally think that this air pollution is a major problem in the society right now you know and the first step to abolishing air pollution is knowing where is the air pollution so if you have like an asthma patient or even like your home you can know how pure your air is and it's just an awesome thing and this actually interests me a lot because i live in an area where there is a lot of air pollution and this way I can know where there is and maybe I can fix it even in my own house. Okay, so next we attach this to here. I think the best thing about this is that it's DIY. So anyone can make this easily. A few years ago this would have costed way too much and it would have been way too big. But now it's available in such a small size and you can make it yourself. It's just amazing how far technology has gone. So next. I take this and put it over here. And these are just simple chips. You put this up. And now you attach these chips. Also, the company Ozone is like really nice because they're handing me out this. They haven't actually really launched it yet publicly. Like they have launched it, but it's not available. There's also the 3G version. It uses a SIM card, but this is Wi-Fi version. I also have several of these other things uh, which can detect the air quality. They are quite bigger and actually quite advanced. And they put this all over the world and in, especially in India. So they have an app using which you can see how polluted or non-polluted the air is in your city or area. Okay, so this is the last few. We attach this in and we are done. So, yep, we made this. This is a wow. And for the end, we take this plastic off. Silence. God damn it. Wow. We have it all set up and made. Now, let's connect it to the app and see how the air quality is. Or as I like to say, since this is an owl, let's go hunt him. Okay guys, so we are downstairs now, so let's start setting up the air out. Let's switch it on first. So now here there are a lot of lights, then there will be one light which will be red. So you have this red light which means that it's waiting and searching for Wi-Fi and phones to connect to. So now let's just open the air quality app okay so on the top right you go to private you click there now here you sign in with your air quality India account or you can create one if you don't have one I'll just sign in with mine okay so now we are on the screen and we select air or Wi-Fi now here and connect to air we connect to air 4613 e now for you it might be different because this number 4613E is actually the serial number of the AR. Now this number is also written on the back of the AR Wi-Fi box. Anyway, let's press connect. Now here you connect the AR to the Wi-Fi of your home and all that. So connect. Let me try that again. Okay, so now we just reboot the AR. There might be a problem with that. So we switch it off. Then we wait. Then we switch it on. Yep. Okay, so now the problem was that I wasn't connected to the air or Wi Fi. So let's do that and press connect. Let's try that again. Oh, oh my god! Okay, so it works now. Let's name our. Um, let's name our air um, joy down. Now we have to wait until it's green. Right now it is green. But if you are using this, you have to wait until it's green. Okay, so now connect to your home Wi-Fi or anything that has internet access. So for me, it's just switching on 3G. Then I click save. Registering device. 
again save registering device save registering device okay so now we press save thank you uh -huh. okay so we have now successfully connected our uh, known as toy out and it's going to measure the air quality and everything now this is actually a great initiative by Oldsome and Air Quality India. I'll leave a link to it in the description if you want to buy it. That's it for this video guys. Make sure you like it if you liked it. Subscribe if you are new. And just thanks for watching. Now if you want tech videos every Sunday, the next thought to read Oh my god, it's a time in there! Important, especially considering that this adds a lot of weight and size to the keyboard. Now, one other feature of the keyboard is that you can remove the keys.